All right, we got Jake out. Good morning, guys. Good morning from Jackson, Mississippi. We're at the petrol truck stop getting ready to go. Taking the dogs out. We got Jake out right now. He's going to do his thing. Oh, got to turn the camera. <laughs> Good morning to everybody out there. Let's go get Panda. Oh, yeah. All right, and we got old Panda out. Turn, turn. Whoo, it is hot and muggy. It really is, guys. I just stepped outside. Instant sweat, man. Instant sweat. But anyway, we're going to let her do her thing. Then we're back on the road. Let me get out of the sun. Then we're back on the road. So we'll be right back. This 18 wheel is rolling heavy through the desert at night. I've been driving all day. Okay, we do have a bug gut or two on the window. We're gonna pull to the few island. We're gonna take the squeegee. And we are going to, I'm debating if I should, I've been idling now. I honest, uh, trying to use that APU as much as I, I have been. It kinda got my batteries kinda low, right? So like after about 10 minutes all the power shuts off including the refrigerator so I said you know I know I don't have the best fuel mileage because I'm actually idling because I am idling my truck but it is what it is I get the APU fix and we will uh, I was asked if I see a thermal king and it doesn't interfere with any load uh, to see if I can pull in and get that fixed. So ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're going to do. If we do see a Thermal King, we're not going to let it interfere though, delivering a load. Because as long as I got AC in the truck, I'm happy. It ain't like we're freezing, or freezing. <laughs> It'd be nice if we were freezing, but actually I am freezing right now. We, we have excellent, super excellent uh, AC in here now. I have to tell you, the petrol did a damn good job. Really did. I was impressed. But we're going to pull up here. We're going to clean our window. So you guys don't have to be staring at any bug guts. Then we got to go about five and a half mile down the road. Pick up a trailer. An empty trailer. Then I guess we'll find out where our, and from there we'll find out where we're going to be going. Where, where are we going to go pick up our next load. I'm just going to pull in this one. Because I, all, I, all I'm going to do is, uh, well, I'm going to put, I'm, I'm going to, that, that, I can't even talk. We're going to wipe our window off. So we'll be right back. All right, that is done. And silly me, I thought he was going to be out of my way. I'm bobtailing. So I'm just going to easy back up. Nothing behind me. We're going to back her up. I just pulled in here to do my window. And I, I know it's not per. You know, sometimes a bug gut doesn't want to come off that window. You almost got to open your hood and get up on it. And put all your weight. And I'm not going to do that guys too dang hot to be doing that but I did do a good job I think but you guys are the uh, well, you guys are the judge I'm sure you'll let me know if I did a good job or not but let's go get this empty trailer and go from there okay We are leaving the petrol truck stop in Jackson, Mississippi. Approaching destination at 1,000 feet on the right side. I see it. Where's my roadway to get into it? But right there it is. That's where we're going.
There's probably a road up here. There's probably a road up here, right here. Trucks use right lanes. Well, like again, we're bobtailing, so we're making this turn. Take right here. be impossible to do if I had a trailer. Utility. Carrier transcode. I bet they had to work on the reefer here. Well, we're looking for trailer 9190012. Oh, wow. I see uh, a stretch over man ain't that sharp I'll show you guys oh maybe we got to go in think we have to go in there's a gate here he's coming the wrong way out this gate but I wonder if we got to go in we probably got to go in don't come down gate okay it ain't coming down but I, got, I guess I gotta let them know, right? We should go in and let them know. Service. I guess I'm gonna park right here. I'll run in and let them know I'm picking up a trailer. Be right back. Okay, he says, yep, yeah, it's here. It's done. Yeah, they did some reefer work on it. One nine zero zero one two. He said, I'm gonna show you guys that uh, cab over though on my way out. That was a beautiful, that was a stretch frame Transstar International cab over. It looked pretty too. If not, we'll go down the other. One eight zero. It's a prime trailer, though. But that's one eight one nine zero. What did I say it was? One nine zero. Hey, we found it, y'all. It's right there. Has that reefer been on the whole time it's been here? We'll come back to it. But what we're gonna do is show you this cab over real quick. This is a sharp cab over, guys. I don't care for the newer internationals, but look at that. That's a stretch frame Transstar International cab over. I love it, man. I love it. Let's see. Zoom up a little bit on it. Looky there. Ain't that nice or what? That's sharp. Woody, I want one of these trucks right here. <laughs> yeah. Say yeah, right, jukebox. Wish in one hand and... <laughs> Wish in one hand and crap in the other. Which one's going to get full? Alright. Well, anyway. It had that reefer warning light on this trailer on. For whatever reason but let's go over here and find out why it's supposed to have been here to get repaired we don't want no lights on no reefers let's get out and look her over guys all right well according to the code it's out of fuel that's why it's acting up so we're going to shut her off we're going to run this over to the truck stop. We're going to fill it up and see if I can get it started. I may have to actually see if I can, well, what you call prime it? 
gonna try anyway but we're gonna hook up to it right now take it down and get it uh, fueled up okay to the flying J we shall go we have a trailer that is dead in the water I'm hoping that there's enough in there enough fuel that it might catch itself without me having to prime it if I can't prime it then I'll bring it back here and have them do it but we're gonna give it a shot anyway I have been able to do that in the past but they were thermal keen trailers this is a oh, what you call this again carrier carrier reefer so I'm guessing it's about the same way how to prime we'll find out let's go down and get get over to the flying J we'll be right back extra large large medium Oh yeah. <laughs> so the lady I went in and got me a pair of gloves. She said, Are you taking pictures? And I said, Well, I'm a YouTuber. She said, What's your channel? And I said, Trucker Jukebox. She said, I wanna be on I wanna be on video. And I said, Okay, well I'll be back in. I gotta go and get fuel for the reefer. And uh, she said, I'll be right back. I gotta go get some lip gloss on. So we're gonna go in. We'll have a clip with her and uh, saying hi. So that's pretty cool but let's get some reefer fuel and uh, then we'll go back in be right back all right let's see what happens folks so we can see something we got to clear some codes clear alarms no active alarms I hope it starts. Status okay? What it's saying, status okay. She wanted to say hi to everybody, so hi. we're gonna say hi, okay? All right, you wanna say hi to everybody? Hey, my name is Denise. I think you all should come to Flying J and Pearl, where we get wonderful guest service. And we cater to you all's needs. And that's right, swing it to him and he's gonna say yes. Say yes. Yes, good okay. guest service. Yes, yes, yes. Good guest right. service. You guys are the prettiest thing on the video today, I guarantee it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You bet. All right, guys, we'll be right back. That was pretty cool, man. That was pretty cool. Yep. Anyway, we are now... Let's see if this reefer is still running. Let's see if this reefer is still running because supposedly it was out of fuel. Cross our fingers. Still running, folks. Run. We're 
we're gonna let it run just a little bit longer just make sure the fuel is through the system and everything then we gotta go wash out the wagon so we'll be right back all right we moved our truck over there our reefer is still running i'm gonna shut it off as soon as i get back and then we're gonna go wash out our wagon go pick up our next load 61 miles from here but we're gonna go in and have something to eat before we go anywhere because <laughs> truly I'm gonna be busting butt to get to my pickup and it's going to Joplin Missouri for tomorrow so and I want to give this uh, uh, that thing whatever you call that thing for my air conditioner I want to give that to them give give it back to them because there, there's a warranty on it right compressor that's it but anyway let's go in and get something to eat we'll be right back finally guys 45 minutes I finally got my meal <laughs> we're gonna eat we'll be right back all right guys we are going to end this segment this video right here we're gonna go come on we're gonna go pick up a load uh oh hold up hold up hold up let's find out done forgot sanders farms pit solution yeah we're picking up doggy stuff and kitty kitty stuff what do you think of that guys what in collins mississippi i'm 61 miles from there Since it don't, it's $23.59. We don't want to be too dang early, but $23.59, yeah, well, we want to be there. That's what time it picks up. It's $23.59, which is one minute before midnight. So we're going to get over there close anyway. And we'll probably end up taking a break. What do you think of that? Take a break before we pick up our load. Yeah. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you liked the video. That being said, if you're not subscribed to the Trucker Jukebox man, just do us a big favor and hit the subscribe button. And if you're, if you hit the bell, it will notify you, letting you know that we got a video up. And you can see me and Jake and Panda. Yeah. You can see us going down the road. I, what, Jake, where did you go, buddy? He's back there on the bed. What's old Jake doing on the bed? Come here, Jake. Come on, man. You are part of this team. You better get up here. You are part of this team. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Alright. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. And with that being said, we're out of here. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow with another video. Later.